Well, today we are at the Alliance factory. Again. Again. <laughs> and today we're going to see something really, really cool. Yeah. And I know you've probably already seen it on other channels already. The new Delta travel trailer line mm -hmm. that Alliance just came out with. But um, you probably haven't seen a walkthrough like we're going to do. We haven't seen a wag walk. Because <laughs> <laughs> we don't really focus on all the technical stuff. No. And we just kind of go in and have fun and pick out the stuff that would appeal to us exactly. if we were going to buy this RV. Mm -hmm. Our favorite features and maybe some things that we would change. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're going to show you two of the floor plans for the new Delta travel trailers. Yeah. And we will start with the 262 RB, which stands for rear bath. Yeah. And uh, once we get over to the other one, we'll show you the outside features. We're just gonna show you the inside of the 262 RB real fast. Then we'll pop over, show you the inside and the outside of the bunkhouse model. Love that you still get a shoe cubby. Oh yeah, I like nice. That. Big fan. I like having a key ring. Hey, little hooks? Yeah, that's nice, I like that. See how soon as you come in, here's the rear bath, which is nice size. Lots of counter space in there. Yes, I do. It's a great size. Big mirrors. Bath. You get a window in the bathroom, which is nice. Yeah. Lots of room in there. I like that they're not skimping on the size of a bathroom in a travel trailer. Yeah. That's great. Very nice. You're still getting that spacious feel. Theater seating over there. U-shaped dinette. Yes. Which I know you're not a huge fan of U-shaped dinettes, but in a travel trailer, that's perfect. Yeah. Maximizes seating and gives you an extra bed. Huge fan. Hope to see this in the paradigms. This is not glass. Oh. This is plexiglass. Oh, nice. Not going to break on you. No. Nothing's going to hit it and shatter it. If it does, it's a cheap fix. But I love that it looks like the glass that we have without the weight of glass. Yeah. Awesome. So this floor plan in the rear bath is almost exactly like the one with the rear bunkhouse. Except the lighting is better over there. So we're going to show you the features over there. Oh. Hi. Hello. <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah? I like this. It looks comfy. It is. It is. It's just my size, too, and lengthwise. Scout would love this. This is a scout habitat. Yeah, you could just wall that off and he'd live there. Yes. I would totally wall it off here with plexiglass. He's got a window. It's got the outlet for the heat lamps. At night, you can pull the screen, yeah. keep it dark for him. This is a beardy's dream right here. <laughs> I love this. It, honestly, if you live with somebody who snores, you put them out of the bedroom, you put them in the bunkhouse. Yeah. Let them snore out here. Not only do you get two bunks, though, you get some storage down here, too. Big storage space down there. Yeah. I like these bunks. Yeah. These are great. All right, let's show you the bathroom in the back of this bunkhouse. Okay. Not much different than the than the rear bath, just a little smaller because you have the, the bunks. Yeah, you can tell, like, this is how the other bathroom is. Yeah. It's walled up here, and you get this space in the bathroom. Very nice. Well, it's still spacious. Yeah. I like it. Oh, yeah, there's still plenty of room in here. Yeah. Still I like, lots of counter space. I like having a medicine cabinet, an actual medicine cabinet. Still get a window. Yes. Some people are eh on bathroom windows. I like it. Yeah, there's a really cool feature in this shower. Show us the really uh, cool feature yeah. in the shower. It's nice retractable, and it'll squeegee it for you, so you don't have to worry about it. That's, That's my favorite, really cool. self-squeegeeing, because yeah. after every shower, I have to squeegee. Poor you. Yeah, and porcelain toilet, porcelain toilet in a travel trailer, which is very rare. Yeah, and I like they, they were able to make use of this and give you some storage, linen storage. Yeah. That's nice. Leslie found something else. I like it. What'd you find? On-demand water heater. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, I like that. Long hot showers. Yeah. I'm a fan. Big fan. <laughs> lots of storage back here. Swiveling TV. Lots of storage. Snacks and guns and stuff. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. This is one of my favorite features right here. Because this pulls out, and this could be this could be your pantry, or this could be a desk. You could You could actually pull this out. And what's really cool about this, if you choose to use this as a desk, you can just plug your thing into, and then this could be your monitor. 
Oh, you could, yeah. And so you're editing, and you'd have like this big, huge screen to work with. That'd be sweet. While you're editing your videos, if you're if a video editor. But if you work from home, it is a good workstation yeah. too. So you can have some pantry space down here and down here, and use this as a desk. 12 volt fridge. Yes. And it's like looks like the door. Looks like the outside door. Yeah. Nice and shiny black. The three burner Therion, which is nice. We don't cook, so this means nothing to us. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's just, that'd get converted into something else. But you know what I really do like? What's that? I like that in the sinks, they move the drain. So kind of it's kind of restaurant style. Okay. Where drains into a corner. So you can wash, rinse, and all that water is going to go away from your dishes, which is nice. Very smart. You know the one thing I noticed? What? I noticed that I don't see any floor vents. You are correct. To stub your toe on or drop your keys in or, or... your dog get his foot caught in it. Exactly. And uh, it's really cool because they did a really good job of hiding these things. They did. I like the fact that you really, you look around and you have no idea where the air vent is. It's right over here. That's so cool. Yeah. And not only is there a vent under there, it's like lit. It's so exactly you get a little bit of ambiance with it too. Yeah. So if you get up in the middle of the night, you got floor lighting. Nice. I like it. And I'm assuming that this converts into a sleeper. Oh, yes. Absolutely. So you can sleep some more folks. Yes. This, I think, converts into a sleeper. Mm -hmm. So you can sleep some more folks in here. And then you got the bunks over here. So you could really sleep a bunch of people in here. Yes, you can. My favorite, and you'll not hardly see this in any travel trailer in the industry, two air conditioners. Yes. This is not a lot of space, but... Two air conditioners will make a huge, huge difference, especially if mommy and daddy want their privacy back here and want to close this door off. Mm -hmm. So they're not closing themselves off from the air conditioning. If the kids back here are nice and cool, if mommy and daddy want to have some mommy and daddy time, <laughs> you're going to need some AC back here <laughs> yes, you are. if you're doing some mommy and daddy time. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think they know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> you're always laying down on the job, man. I am. Any chance you get, you are just horizontal. <laughs> <laughs> mention that these were epoxy poured yeah so and i like that i'm i'm a fan of a, the epoxy poured some people are not they don't like i think it classes them. up the joint I, I do i think there is an elegance to to it and i like that the ports are back there your plugins your chargers everything and these cute little reading lights yeah i don't read but yeah we're, we're not readers but i think they're cute oh it's blue yeah oh or white look at you go I like it. Discovering new stuff. Yeah. See? You can learn something by laying down. <laughs> <laughs> and the 381BH has access from the outside right into your bedroom, which is very cool. Very cool. The debate continues. Do you hang your clothes or do you fold your clothes? Well, in the new Delta Travel Channels, it doesn't matter because they give you a shelf right here. So if you're a folder, you put your fold the clothes up here or down here or if you're a hanger you can take the shelf out and it's hanging right there right there so even if you're a hanger and she's a folder or vice versa you're still all set i'm a hanger i'm a folder <laughs> <laughs> all right that's the insides yes let's talk about the outsides all right you got the stable stairs there yeah love these doors big fan of the door the door is awesome i love the glass front doors a lot of people say uh it's hard to keep clean, true, but the elegant look of a glass door can't be beat. Yeah, it's nice. It. You get a very big graystone grill. I like it. We're grillers. We're not cookers, but we're grillers. I can grill. Yeah, so I like that you get two different plates, a grill plate and a griddle plate. Very nice. They're removable, easy to clean. The sides come down, fold, and then you shove it away. Out of sight, out of mind. And like you get it. a little fridge, a little college fridge. Yeah, she... <laughs> That's a dorm fridge. A little dorm fridge. Yeah. Okay, so this might sound a little weird coming from me, but I'm big on the ladder. You know why I'm big on the ladder? Why? Because I'm the one who goes up on the roof most of the time. So, That's true. So it's a little more important to me. And I love that they put a wider ladder on these. I hope to see this throughout all the lines in the future because it's great, yes, to hang towels and stuff you want to air dry outside. 
but it's so much easier. It's probably twice the size of our ladder in width, so it's not as narrow. Your feet aren't stuck together as you're climbing up it. You can get better traction on this, and I love it. This would make going up on the roof when I scrub it so much easier. A pleasant scrubbing experience. That's Get a little bit of extra storage down here, and down here is where all the cool stuff is. There's some really cool stuff down here. So you have your little nozzle sprayer down here with hot and cold, so it's not just blasting your dog with cold water. That's awesome. You actually give them like a warm spraying. Yeah. Because nobody likes cold shower. Yeah. And you got your coax hookups down here for cable. You have USB ports. You have slide control. You can control your slide from the outside, from out here. Would and love that feature easy access panel back here to get all of your stuff if you need to work on any of your stuff and uh it's it's pretty spacious back here it is that's, a lot that of is a here. lot of storage for a travel trail yeah not only can you control your slide from that side you can control your awning from this side so you don't have to go back inside or you don't have to ask the kid to go back inside and put the awning out that would be you so just awesome do it all yourself right here um and if you have it on your checklist for travel day you can do all your slide closing and your awning closing from outside of the RV as you're doing your final walk around just to make sure that everything's secure, which is which is really nice. Every one of these new travel trailers comes with this folding table, which is really cool because it's up and out of the way, so it's not taking up any of your other storage. And I don't care where you go camping, you're gonna need extra seating because you're gonna have friends over. And let's face it, people put their poses on the picnic <laughs> tables you can't always trust those but this is your table you can take it wherever you want and you know that it's clean and good there is also the great debate about outdoor illumination in campgrounds some of these leds are a little too bright and then when they do the led strips you can see the individual little light bulbs mm -hmm. so on the new delta travel trailers they put this diffuser on which kind of tones this down a little bit kind of softens it and it kind of blends all those little dots together to make it look like one single strip of light. Nice warm glow. Nice warm welcoming glow to the campground. Love it. Don't want to keep you awake. No. Nope. Just want to say welcome. <laughs> and all the Delta Travel trailers come with Goodyear tires. Oh, we didn't cover any of the specs or the towing and all that stuff. Yeah, you can go to the website for all that information. We'll leave a link down below so you can go and uh, check out AllianceRV.com and you can look this up and see all of the technical stuff. We just wanted to show you the stuff that we liked yeah. and we thought was cool. Yes. Final thoughts. I think it's really cool. I think if I was a travel trailer guy, Delta would be the one. Yeah, and, and I don't know if this would surprise you or not, but between the two and our like right now, if today we had to pick a travel trail to live in, yeah, I would actually pick the bunkhouse. Really? I would. For Scout? For Scout. Of because course. it doesn't inconvenience everything else in the house Yeah, and we to don't, accommodate Scout. You already get a bathroom. We don't need a huge one. No. I mean, I, I do like a big bathroom. I'm trying to get the 382RK. <laughs> but, yeah. but as far as the travel trail goes, this fits our functionality easier. Okay. I agree with that. Yeah. And this thing is built... I mean, with, with fifth wheel quality. Yes. Still has the Asdell. Uh, it has yes. all of the, the good tires. It has all the good finishing features on they the inside. They put a lot of thought into this travel trailer. They really did. I'm impressed. Yes. And I'm not easily impressed by a travel trailer. No. And I hope to see some of these uh, elevated finishings and, and tweaks yeah. in, in future it feels yeah, I was kind of like, huh, man, we're gonna look at travel trailers. I'm gonna have to say something good about it because it's Alliance <laughs> and we're ambassadors. But I really do like it. No, I do. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we can't downsize to a travel trailer no. at this phase in our. We just got too much stuff. Yeah. But if I'm a weekend warrior, I'm a couple times a year person. Be perfect. Oh my God, I would be all up in this trailer. Yeah. I love it. I really like it. Well, hey, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about the mm -hmm. new Delta travel trailer line from Alliance. And um, pop over to the website and check out all the floor plans. Coming to a dealership near you soon. That's right. <laughs> hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of this video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.